Hey guys, Kevin here from thesportsgeek.com and in this video I'm going over my DraftKings NFL Week 8 picks. So just a reminder that these picks are for the GPP tournaments or the Guaranteed Prize Pool tournaments at DraftKings. So before we move on to Week 8, let's quickly take a look at Week 7. Overall, a very good Week 7 for me. I had my Teddy Bridgewater and Stefan Diggs stack go off for uh, just over 49 points. So that was a cheap stack that was low owned that did really well. I had Todd Gurley, who I said would be high owned. He was, but he didn't disappoint for us, 35.3 points. And then I had Ladarius Green, who was a cheap price for a tight end, and he got us 18.5 points. And then a couple busts on the week, Larry Fitzgerald, he was high owned, but he did pretty much nothing on Monday Night Football, 6.9 points. Uh, the Dolphins went off, but unfortunately Cameron wasn't a part of that. He only got 4.3 points. So a couple of crappy picks there, but overall pretty solid week. I had a lot of emails from you guys, so I like getting those emails. I like when I can help other people win as well. So I had um, one guy say he got the highest points that he's had in four years with uh, the Excel sheet that I gave him. Uh, more about that at the end of the video. And also I had a guy named Darren who said he got first place in a tournament on DraftKings. And he was also in the running on another $1 tournament where he almost won $100,000 if uh, Crockett Gilmore would have gotten a touchdown at the end of the Monday Night Football game. So that's pretty cool. I love those emails. Hopefully I can help more people win uh, this week with my week eight picks. All right, so my favorite quarterback wide receiver stack for week eight is Phillip Rivers and Keenan Allen. Rivers is 6,600. I know he'll be highly owned, but it's such a crazy price given his production the last couple of weeks. He's thrown for 300 yards in four straight games, which includes one game of 503 yards, and he's gotten 10 touchdown passes over that span. Chargers have been struggling running the ball, so they've been throwing like crazy. He's attempted 40 passes in four games this season, including his last two games where he's put up 58 and 65 attempts, which is just crazy. And then Keenan Allen is 7,700. He's had double digit targets five times this season, and he's put up over 30 DraftKings points in three games already this season. So Keenan Allen's a beast. You can pair him with Rivers, and it's not even too expensive of a stack given their production this year. My top running back pick of the week is going to be Chris Johnson at 4600 So it's a really cheap price given his production this year. He's up against a weak Browns rush defense. And Chris Johnson, surprisingly, is second in the league in rushing. And he's had three 100-yard games already this season. And if you guys know, at DraftKings, uh, if you get 100 yards rushing, you get a three-point bonus. So that's pretty big too. There's a little bit of a risk there with two other good running backs in Arizona, but he seems to be their number one running back so far for uh, rushing the ball. And we should see that a lot against the Browns and they should have opportunities to score. So Chris Johnson might get some goal line looks as well. So I like him at 4,600 for a cheap running back this week. My favorite value wide receiver of the week is gonna be Martavis Bryant for the Steelers, 5,300. Cincinnati is in Pittsburgh this week and this game's got a high Vegas total of 48. Big Ben is back for the Steelers and that's going to make a huge difference for their offense. Martavis Bryant has been back for two games after his suspension and he's put up 35 and 14 DraftKings points. And those games were without Ben. Um, they were with Landry Jones and Michael Vick. So I expect even more production with Ben in the lineup again. And take note that last year, Bryant had six touchdowns in the Steelers' final nine games with limited targets. This year he's gotten more targets already without Ben and I expect more targets with him and more touchdowns to come with that. So this week at tight end I'm going back with Ladarius Green. Gates is probably out again this week and Green's price only rose $100 despite putting up 18.5 DraftKings points last week and 12 or more in four games already this season. Green has also scored a touchdown in four of his six games played and he seems to be one of Rivers' favorite targets in the red zone. And I want to mention that you could stack Allen and Green with Rivers. Both can be productive together in the same game. We've seen that already this year a couple times. So I wouldn't be against stacking all three together. Okay, so five more DraftKings Week 8 picks here. Starting off with the Panthers defense slash special teams at 3,200. The Panthers are hosting the Colts on Monday Night Football. If you guys have been watching Luck this year, you know that he hasn't been throwing well. Um, he's actually got worse numbers than his rookie season so far. He's thrown nine interceptions in five games. And the Panthers defense is the number two rated uh, passing defense. And they've also got the number one rated cornerback in Josh Norman. So I think that sets up well for the Panthers defense. Moving on to another quarterback here, we got Andy Dalton at a ridiculously cheap price, $6,000. He's put up 20 or more DraftKings points in five straight games, 
And now he's coming off a bye week, going to Pittsburgh as a small favorite. As I said, off a bye week, so he's got more time to prepare. Uh, We've got a high Vegas total of 48 in that game. Expected to be a little bit of a shootout. And uh, he's looked great all season. He's actually, I think, the third rated quarterback of the year so far this year. So he's looked really good. And $6,000 is a steal for him this week. And I'm going to pair him up with Marvin Jones at a cheap 4,200. So Jones isn't the number one receiver in Cincinnati, as you guys know, AJ Green is. Jones is starting to become one of his favorite targets. 20 targets in his last two games, and he's gotten three touchdowns this year. So that could be a, kind of a sneaky play for GPP tournaments. Moving on to running back, I gotta throw Todd Gurley back in here. This guy's been an absolute machine. Even with his price rising a bit to 6,300, he's still worth a play. He's had 128 or more rushing yards in three straight games, basically the three games he's been back from injury. Um, he scored two touchdowns last week. He's an absolute machine. They're just gonna keep feeding him the rock, so I can't leave him out of my lineups. Todd Gurley is still a great play, even at 6,300. All right, so my last pick here is tight end Richard Rodgers from the Packers at $3,000. The Packers are in Denver for the Sunday night football game. Rodgers has been targeted five or more times in three straight games. He's gotten two touchdowns already this season. Denver has a very solid secondary, so I could see Rodgers dumping it off to Rodgers quite a bit in this game. I'm hoping that he can pick up a touchdown, maybe two, and hopefully help us win a GPP tournament. So there we go, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know by clicking the thumbs up button on YouTube so I know to keep making them. Again, if we can get over a thousand likes like we have for the past couple weeks, I'll make one for week nine as well. And if you guys don't already have my free lineup tool, click on the link in the description below to get that for free. All right, guys, as always, good luck in your contest. Hope you guys hit it big this week. Cheers.